Hi everyone, today I'm just going to show you all of the Robert Oster inks that I have so far. Um, initially when I first uh, discovered these inks, I was really drawn to the colors, the color variety, um, the shades, the, the, the complexities of some of the individual colors. Uh, and when I received my first couple of bottles, I really enjoyed the inks, but I, I didn't care for the bottle itself, which is a plastic bottle, and, and that does bother me just a little bit, but I can get over it. Uh, in the end, it does make them really easy to travel with because they're narrow and I don't have to worry about the glass breaking in, in my bag. But aside from that, these have become possibly one of my favorite inks. They're really well behaved. They, again, the color complexities, the different shades that are available. There's ones that sheen and ones that shade really beautifully. And I just really enjoy writing with them. So the first one we'll swab is the Black Violet. And you can't really see so well in this one, but the the color does change so initially goes on a little bit gray and then it kind of shifts to blue and then when it fully dries there's even a little bit of purple that surfaces this is smoke screen which again is as it dries it really you can see it right now actually it goes on with a beautiful um, purple maroon color and as that one dries it dries to a grayer color it's almost brown at times as well. Midnight Sapphire. Claret, which is uh, the pen that I use to write with all the names is filled with Claret right now. Cafe Crema, and I think a bit of lotion got on the paper from my hands, and so that's why it was behaving a little oddly. This is not normal at all for the ink. Chartreuse, which is such a fun color. <clears throat> and excuse me, I'm <laughs> losing my voice presently. What a terrible time to be doing a voiceover. Chartreuse is really lovely. It goes on green and then dries with a lot of yellow. This is khaki, which as you can see when I put down the swab, it fills that little square much like denser um, than some of the other inks that I've had to like go back and do a second layer on top of. Melon tea is the same as khaki where it just puts down a lot of ink at once. I think these two tend to be a little bit wetter. And then last but not least is Crocodile Green. I have a couple pens that are currently inked up with some of these inks. So here is a vintage Pelican. This is from the 1960s. It's the 400 series and it has a fine nib. And here is my modern Pelican if you're not sick of seeing it yet. <laughs> this is the M800 and the extra fine also inked up with khaki. We have a Platinum 3776. This is uh, one of the celluloid editions. Uh, this particular one is Cherry Blossom. And then here is the Sailor uh, 1911 Large that I use to write out all the titles. And then for the other ones, since I don't have any other pens that are inked with these colors, I'm going to be using my Wells Fargo number one 
nib with a nib holder from Czechoslovakia. It's a super fine nib, so the colors don't show as, as much as I would like them to, but I love writing with this dip pen. Here's the smoke screen again, and as you can see, it went through a color change. <laughs> it, uh, when I first swabbed it, it was very purpley, and now it's dried to a, like a gray, a taupe, uh, right? Gray brown. I really enjoyed this midnight sapphire with this dip pen. I think it the color came through the most and it just behaved really nicely. Using inks with dip pens, uh, the ink behaves just a little bit differently. And actually Cafe Crema behaved very well and you can really see the color shine through. I feel like smokescreen um, is better expressed in a, a little bit fatter of a, a line just because it does go through so many different color changes it's nice to be able to see them I've used melon tea a lot my bottle is half full and then crocodile green you can already see is has some nice sheen and that in concludes my ink exploration of the Robert Oster inks that I currently have. Thank you all for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this.